Good morning everyone, it's your girl Annie. Welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here. If you are new here and thrifting, but more importantly, Halloween and all things spooky season is your jam, I would love to have you subscribe to the channel because I really think you're gonna like it here. If you are not new here, you may have noticed I'm in a different little area filming. This is supposed to be my designated filming area. And if you're wondering, girl, why are you like smushed to the side of the screen? It's because I'm sharing this one little accent chair with my 80 pound dog. Here she is. This is her chair now. And she's like, mom, I'm not sharing. So I'm just in the little corner over here making do. Anyways, today we have another Halloween decor hunting video. It may be one of the last until we start our spooky clearance hunting, but that's not here yet. So we're still out Halloween decor hunting. So we are going to a new store today, actually, which I think a lot of people overlook this store. Um, anyways, we're going to, where are we going? We're going to, we're going back to Home Goods. We're going back over to Target. And we're going to Bell's Outlet, which is also known as Home Centric, but also Burke's Outlet, I believe, in like other parts of the US. Around me, we just call it Bell's Outlet. It's kind of like a TJ Maxx, but cheaper. So you get what you don't pay for, you know what I mean? But you can still find some good stuff there. I shop there all the time. No shame in my game. I can find a lot of really cute clothes there. Anyways, I'm getting off track. We're gonna go to those three stores. As we all know, I could ramble on forever, especially when it comes to Halloween and shopping, but I'm gonna stop. We're gonna go ahead and pop on into the stores and see what spooky goodies are waiting for us. Starting at Target, we have more of the Hide and Eek Boutique. This is a lot of the stuff that we have yet to see from what I can remember. I'm not sure. Anyways, this really cool, like, little crystal ball with the eyeballs on the bottom so cool and we have this tiered tray with the little spidey webs it's a little on the smaller side so take that for what you will and then all of the party supplies they have literally everything you could ever need a couple of dish towel options those are five dollars and look at these balloons those are so cute I, i'm pretty sure they had those last year too they're just adorable like the perfect little halloween touch And I mean, need I say more? As you can see, that went right on into my cart without trying to smush everything. This is that inflatable or stand up or whatever life size coffin. Um, seeing it in person, I don't love it. It looked better quality online. The skeletons over here look a little bare, not gonna lie, but again, still some good options. That snake is so long, oh my gosh. And this little planter is so cute. It's an all year round piece. They brought the metal houses back this year. I think the A-frame one is new. They're all $10 a piece, such good quality. I have one. more party supplies like they have a lot of um games like different games you can play for a halloween party or a spooky birthday party this is a really good time to stock up on those kinds of items couple of treat pail options and these are really cool I haven't seen these before so if you have like smaller children and you put them in wagons these you can decorate the wagon with this is a separate target trip this this little bucket thing is new to me where you can put ice and drinks in it I believe we've seen most of this stuff before as well, but down here are some new pillows to me. Also this planter, kind of like the cauldron with the bats, but a jack-o'-lantern one.
this sign for how big it is i think it's only like 20 or 25 bucks that's insane it's so big and double-sided which is so so nice Here is the ghoulish garden. I have never seen this in person before. Not last year or the year before, and I wasn't sure I was gonna see it this year, but here it is. And I'm gonna say these pieces are such good quality. Not my personal style, so I did not pick any up, but it's just nice to see them in person and kind of get a feel for what they're actually like. And yeah, the quality is just, it's really good. But if I did have to pick a favorite, it's definitely not going to be these orchid things. Uh, it's going to be the roses right here with the eyeballs because I love the darker, moodier colors. Also, this you could totally DIY. Just saying. Again, a separate trip to Target. This is the only hanging pumpkin they had this trip. All of the pumpkin skellies are gone, so we had our first and only sighting. But these little tombstones are new at this store. And we have the Ghoulish Garden tombstones. These are really cute. Honestly, again, it's just not my style, but the quality is just, it's just insane for being at Target. Like, look at this one. I love that. Okay, and this is a separate trip at a different Target. Is a whole wall full of all their neon lights and steak lights and indoor lights and string lights and fairy lights, all kinds of lights. They had all of that out at this Target. So we're gonna take a look at a few key pieces. That little bat one right there, I have it. Last year I was on a hunt for it and here they have like five, that's crazy. But this cauldron one is so cute. We have another ghost option. And we have a few more down here. Sorry, the camera's a little shaky. I was kind of... I was just a little too excited. Look at this skull. That's so cool. But this one, I love it. I'm definitely gonna be on the hunt for this during spooky clearance hunting. I don't remember seeing it last year. And oh my god, it's so pretty. And look at this for like a little Halloween party. That's so cute. They just had a lot of really good lighting options. So if you're in need of anything like that for your spooky decorating, definitely head out to your Target to see if they have anything left. Okay, we are moving on to Bell's Outlet. I explained in the intro that Bell's Outlet is kind of like a TJ Maxx, but even cheaper. So you'll find some things that you can find at TJ Maxx, but yeah, anyways, the quality is kind of hit or miss, but we're still gonna take a look because they have Halloween things and we're out looking for all the Halloween spooky goodies. We'll see, we're, we're definitely gonna see a couple of key pieces here at Bell's Outlet. Like this pillow right here, oh, it was so pretty i loved it nice lumbar pillow the orange is not my orange but it's not too like neon -y. and it was only at 25 dollars which is comparable to home goods and i feel like this pillow is 
bigger than any lumbar pillow I've seen at Target for only $25, I mean. Okay, moving on, they did have another shelf and a couple more displays over here full of spooky goodies, which was nice. I thought we were only gonna see the few things up front. Uh, this little guy with the tuxedo was interesting, but the glitter man. I'm not opposed to glitter, but I just hate like when you touch it and like every little piece of glitter sticks to your hands. I don't love that. Like this little piece right here, absolutely not worth $10, it, no. But there is one blanket back here, we're gonna see it in a second. Most of their blankets here are the 50 by 70 inch, which is the larger size for only $13. Look at this blanket. Are you kidding me with these little ghosties? That's so cute. Again, 50 by 70 for only $13. It's so cute. Here is another Halloween display. So we have a little witchy broom back here, some velvet pumpkins, this guy, and just some other key pieces we're gonna take a look at. I thought these were interesting. It's a set of four coasters in a little caddy. So the caddy is this bat with the witch hat on and then four coasters with it. They're ceramic coasters, which is interesting. It was $10 and here is the same thing, but in ghosty form and the coasters say boo on them. Look at this witch, is she not fab? $40 is a little steep, but I love that silhouette, so nice. These velvet jack-o'-lanterns are so nice. I love the feel, I love the look. I wish they had them in different colors. trying to get a price on this guy but it was too heavy so there you go <laughs> but a really substantial stacked jack-o-lantern this little platter so nice it was only ten dollars which i feel like it's a little small for ten dollars but it's comparable to something you would find at home goods for sure and this little ghosty bowl, it's so cute. It was $6. Another stacked pumpkin option here. This one looks like a planter. 40 bucks, that's not too bad. This was a, almost a good piece, but the top hat just ruined it completely for me. Again, this is another one of those hit or miss pieces. This is definitely a miss. I like the little container with the spider on it, but adding the felt leaves was just a little odd. I felt like you could have just left those off and it would have looked a lot nicer. Here we have a purple velvet jack-o'-lantern. I'm telling you the feel on these was amazing. Only $25, not too bad. And then we have a couple of coaster options that stood out to me. We have the spider web and the skull, and they are $6 for a set of four. Our last stop for this video is gonna be good old home goods. They still are fully stocked with Halloween and my spooky soul is just living it up let me tell you 
So we're gonna take a look at the shelves. I'm gonna point out a few new things that are sticking out to me. And let's just go ahead and soak up all the spooky goodness while it's still out there in the stores. This is actually interesting, a Lumin Luminara candle. I think I've seen them featured on a Perfect Pumpkins Instagram. Definitely didn't know that Home Goods sold them, but they're a little steep at $25. It's Gnome Central over here, Gnome Central. Look at this ghosty though, how cute. Not sure if we've seen these before, but these little felt, like almost crochet looking ghosty garland. I'm in love with this sign. Which parking? It's like a yard stake, actually, sign. I don't know. Either. Either or. I love it. Oh, I just don't want to spend $40 on it. I'm done. I'm done buying things. So, I'm not even gonna buy it anyways. Anyways, moving on. This is uh, like a vase or bowl filler. It's $13, which is a little steep, and it appears that the skulls are styrofoam. We can do better than that. Okay, but this piece, so good. For only $15 is insane. The quality is amazing, and I love the look of the skull. It's so nice. Also, these are new to me, these metal spiders that you can hang on the wall. Are you kidding? Those are amazing. Look at this pumpkin, spiced pumpkin. This one actually had like the notes on the front, which I like because a lot of the candles from Home Goods don't. Um, not that that like really matters to me. I sniff it and if I like it, we're good to go. But it's kind of nice to know like what you're sniffing. Anyways, that topper kills me. I love the candles with the little toppers. They're just adorable. Okay, and apparently I was like meh on the scent. But it was only 15 bucks and it was so cute. That little wooden pumpkin back there, new to me. And this little back guy, the stuff on the inside is actually supposed to be like potpourri. I gave it a sniff, but it really didn't smell like anything. And I felt like it was a little steep for 17 bucks. They have the infamous stacked ghosty for 40. I feel like, is that expensive? I feel like that's really expensive. But I loved this one, however, for only 10, much more up my price range <laughs> alley. And I just like the look of it, I think it's unique. Another ghosty one back there. Also, I was obsessed with this. I actually would never buy it because I have a stack of real books. Like I have more books than I could ever need in my life. But just the aesthetics of it is amazing. Also the aesthetics of this witch. She's gorgeous with her little fur coat like hello ma'am you're rocking it and this one back too look at her lip that lip color is everything okay but this display literally took my breath away it has everything you could ever want all in one little area look at this cauldron like are you kidding Everything on here is amazing, and the spooky dishware. Oh my god. Ugh, home goods, you're killing me. But in a good way. Look at these plates. Ugh, I love them. I just wish they were bigger. These are the smaller size. Anyways, look at these really cool pumpkin plates. 
interesting these would be so cute for like a spooky thanksgiving tablescape oh yeah that'd be perfect cutie little canister i love the matte feel of it and this candle oh my gosh it was an led candle for 10 bucks with the like embedded spiders in there Ooh, that was so good And then we have another actual, this is an actual candle, candle option with this spooky house, the bats, the witch on a broom, the gravestone. I mean, I want to live here. That's amazing. This candle was just perfection. We have some Ouija board plates. This was a really big plate for 15 bucks. So I'm thinking it's more of like a serving like a serving plate and then we had these dinner plates Are these dinner plates yeah six bucks a plate that's not too bad I love the cauldron on it oh my gosh and look at this guy that's different it's only 15 bucks it's totally not bad but it was the only one that I saw something like that you would definitely want a pair Look at this mug. Oh my God. So good. It was $6 with like the Grim Reaper. And oh my gosh, I'm kicking myself that I didn't get this. This coffin like serving tray. It was perfect. And to top it all off, this amazing table runner. Look at those cute tassel ghosties. It was $20. Alrighty, y'all, we are back home. The girl here, my dog's name is Girl, if you did not know, I uh, mentioned it in the video in the past, but yes, her name is actually Girl. So Girl here, let me have a little bit more room on the chair. Thank you, ma'am. Love you. So we're back home. Let's talk about what we saw out in the stores. We're gonna go ahead and get Bell's Outlet out of the way. I mentioned you get what you don't pay for. So they have some good things. I will note those velvet jack-o-lantern faux pumpkins oh, those were so cute I wish they had black like I wish they had black or white or a creamy color I'm a very person that likes void of color very muted colors so the bright pink and the or the bright orange and the bright purple are definitely not my thing but the look and the feel of those they were $25 so a little bit expensive if you ask me but those were the better pieces offered at Bell's Outlet. Everything else was kind of just meh. Meh. You know, meh. Okay, moving on to where are we going next? Should we talk about where oh, we went to Home Goods after Bell's. So let's go ahead and talk. Did we go to Home Goods? I forgot. Girl, I done forgot where we went after. Anyways, we did go to Home Goods at some point, and <laughs> Home Goods had some amazing pieces okay I want to talk about this display I'll put the video here <sighs> that's what I thought about it I had to take a moment to really just take it all in the aesthetics were absolutely amazing it's the black and white true Halloween we had the black and white taper candles we had what else we had this really cool spider candle holder we had mugs and plates and cups and canisters we had it all on this little display and it was magical okay in one of my oh my gosh a video that I made so so long ago I talked about wish list items and one of the things on my wish list were spooky dishware now I absolutely love the apothecary uh, yeah the apothecary plates um, but I can only find the appetizer size. If they had the larger ones, your girl probably would have bought them. 
but I've only been finding the little ones. However, I have never seen this many. I've only ever saw a set of four and that was at TJ Maxx a couple weeks ago. So seeing them at my, my home goods that's like three minutes down the road is a little dangerous. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. What else did we see at home goods? We saw some really cute stuff. What else did we see, girl? Huh? I think that was all I really wanted to mention from home goods because this display really just took my breath away. And we are still seeing new things at home goods this late in the game, which I say it's late for Halloween decor hunting. It is late in the game, but we are still seeing full shelves and new things at home goods. So that is a very good sign. And yeah, that's all I wanted to mention at home goods, but then we're moving on to Target. So, spoiler alert, I probably mentioned it in the voiceover. Um, these videos were shot over like two weeks at Target because it's a mixture of the Spooky Plaza Central Target and the Target that's close to me. So, we saw, I think, pretty much everything that the Hide and Eat Boutique has to offer. So, at the first stop to Spooky Plaza Central, Target. I was actually there grocery shopping, but you know I had to peek on over at the Halloween stuff. If I'm there, I might as well. And I found the pumpkin skelly. One moment, I'll be right back. So I did find the pumpkin skelly. One of my other Halloween decor hunting videos, I said I was on the hunt for it. I grabbed it. You know I had to. There were only two. So you know I had to pick that up. I don't have a name for for it yet. I didn't want to go the pumpkin head route because I feel like everyone else is going to name their pumpkin skeleton pumpkin head. And then I was like, well, pumpkin head, pumpkin pie, pie, pumpkin. And somehow I was thinking about it and the name Poppy came into my head. And I love that name, I think. I think I love the name Poppy because I have Sir Edgar. So that's, that's my guy. And I have my girl, besides my actual girl right here, my dog, the girl. But also, Poppy reminds me of the episode from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. That is my show growing up, probably why I'm so obsessed with magic and witches. I wish that was my life. The name Poppy reminds me of the episode from Sabrina the Teenage Witch where I forgot what happened because I haven't seen this show in years and years and years. But there's an episode where I remember the house is full of poppies and it's preventing Sabrina from doing magic. Rec if I recall correctly, I believe the poppies were orange. So something in my head said poppy. I like it for now. We'll see. But poppy's going to get a makeover. She, little Miss Poppy here, um, we're going we're gonna to spray paint her a neutral color because I don't like orange. I did want to mention that Ghoulish Garden, I finally saw the Ghoulish Garlet Garden last year, didn't see it at all. Not one flower, not one nothing from Ghoulish Garden. This year, I saw it in person. It's not my style. I don't do the bright colors like that. You guys may have picked up on that at this point, but I will say the quality is very, very good for what they are, like fake, flowers they look very they look high quality and for 20 bucks I feel like that's expensive but if you take care of your decor you should have them for quite some time and the boobells are adorable so I hope you guys enjoy going Halloween decor hunting with me if you guys did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up it would mean a lot to me and YouTube likes to see it it helps my channel grow and be seen I'm really trying to hit that 1000 subscriber mark by 2023 so if you're watching and you're not subscribed, I will link a couple of videos down below. Check them out. If you're vibing with the content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you are not already, I'm not sure how long we're still going to be Halloween decor hunting for the actual season. I think we're going to be moving into other spooky content, but you do have another decor with me video to look forward to on Sunday. So again, subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss it. But until then, happy spooky season, y'all, and until the next one, bye.